Namaste, everyone. This is uh, Maprem. Welcome to Without Maprem. Um, this episode, uh, simply titled Sat Song with Ujananda. Um, I am here with Ujananda. Um, and uh, I simply have a, a simple question, um, an inquiry, so to speak. Um, and basically, my question to you is. Um, well, it's kind of like a two-part question. The first question would be, why is surrender, or why is surrendering to what is so hard, and um, and do you feel that there, if the, uh, do you feel that it's normal for there to be a fear in um, in giving up what or who you are uh, during uh, this surrender. Hmm. Is there any way that you can tighten up the question? Because I'm having a hard time. Yeah. Um, I can I, I can try. <laughs> um, basically, um, is is there a, a normalcy in a fear of surrender? You hear a little clicking of feet here. Got a dog here at, at Satsang. <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Neo. Almost one year old. Anyhow, um, but the the question being, um, is there is it normal to have a fear of surrender, basically, is what I'm asking? And giving up who you who you think you are to be. Okay. The fear must be arising um, from from the egoic standpoint. Um, and the sense that there is no there's nothing left to support and everything that has been supported up until now um, um, it's coming from conditioned mind coming from conditioning so we have to look at what is surrender um, first of all and well, of course, uh, the fear is going to arise for the ego because surrender precisely means um, giving up the egoic standpoint, which is, um, I call it my self-importance. Um, surrendering means giving up everything that you know, basically. So. A true surrender would be not knowing what it means to surrender, actually. Okay. Um, so, what is it you're surrendering to, first of all? What is it I'm surrendering to? Um, fear, um, having a feeling of, of running in place. What is the need for surrender? To actually have an ability to not lash out in anger, to have any kind of resentment, not to take anything that's said personally. Okay, so then, so then you have to surrender to that. You have to surrender to the anger. And let it be there. Okay. Okay. Um, but there's a fear in that surrender. 
um, and that fear is not based upon, oh, I'm afraid I'm, it's going to piss me off or I'm going to get angry again. It, it's a fear of, of having to give up who, um, who through conditioning I've been taught to be or to believe that I am through everybody else. Everybody else, meaning um, all the people within my life that I've, uh, not just my life, but everybody else's that, um, that has this, this thing. I, I, I can't be the only one. Somehow, I, I don't, somehow we're not getting to the point here. Um, Um, first of all, we have to tell the truth to ourselves about what we're afraid of. Okay, like, what is it that you're afraid of? And because the question is very vague, it's very vague. Why do I fear surrender? Uh, um, that is, it's really big. It, that's why, that's why I asked you to rephrase it. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with a loss of, of, of words. Nothing's coming, actually. It's because I'm not really clear surrender, on what you're asking. Like a surrender of, of not knowing of of a surrender of giving up who I am. A surrender of, of okay, this so, dog that okay. wants to play with me right okay, now. Okay, stop. Know? Stop. So first you have to... Understand, what are you surrendering to? That's why I asked, what are you surrendering to? In order to surrender, you have to be surrendering to something. True being. Okay. True nature. Okay. So, in order to discover your true nature, is it necessary to surrender? Or is, is it more efficient to see the truth of who you are through a sort of a quiet observation. For example, uh, when it comes to anger, resentment, fear of loss, abandonment, rejection, those are all at the core. Those are all of the conditioned responses. They don't belong to you. They're, um, as I've said before, they're part of the um, collective conditioning um, that we have accepted and not questioned. So naturally, we're used to, it's just habit. We're used to following a certain way of being, um, which is the habit to struggle and attain, to be somebody, um, to gain the acceptance of others, um, to, um, but you have to get past all of those things and stay quiet <laughs> and, and, and just observe the mind. Surrender must be, must be for the mind. Um, sort of a spiritual gadget. Um, to get one to be quiet. So, when you talk about surrender, basically you're giving up 
all of the condition responses. And in order to do that, you have to see to see the truth or to tell the truth. Um, that to yourself and admit that these responses create suffering for you. That makes sense because I wind up doing that when I say for instance I have an argument with someone or a disagreement or maybe it's it's not that way maybe I misinterpret but I, I walk away and um, usually before I'm I'm out my front gate usually before I'm I'm even to the corner I've already calmed to the point where I feel stupid well not stupid um, Where I feel like I, like I don't think that I take things way too personally, or that I'm okay. Stop. Okay. What's well, noticing that? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Because I, that, I think that's where the fear comes in, because I don't know. Okay, so what's wrong with not knowing? And I feel like I'm running in place. Okay, okay. Like, say hello to yourself when you get there. Kind okay. Of feeling. Maybe it's because you're identifying with mainstream. You're identifying with the conditioning, like it belongs to you. And not seeing the truth of the history of your childhood, for example. Your history of abandonment. The anger that you have for your father. That, that, that you had, you know, when your father died at a very early age. The resentment toward your alcoholic mother. The, the domineering control of your older sister. The bullying of your big brother. Which, all of that, they picked up from somewhere, you know, through the conditioning. And instead of questioning, it's just habit, basically. I, I've noticed in my association with you that a lot of the time your responses are automatic. They're just, it's like an automatic. And you're not even aware of it until it happens. And then you're reminded about it. And I say to you, surrender your sense of your, your image that you have about yourself because it's not true. It's all of the stories that, that you're telling yourself, which are repeats of your past. <clears throat> um, I mean, it, can it be possible that you have some kind of energy in your body because you've never had a, had, had a chance to um, to be your own person um, because of the automatic conditioning that manifests itself um, eclipsing the chance. And then you become aware of it 
and forget that it's awareness itself that's seeing it. So when I say what is noticing or what is noticing that it's awareness. So therefore awareness is a solution. <laughs> Um, to discover, for example, um, what it means to surrender. So, a uh, quiet observation with nothing, no screen in front. Um, for example, anger is arising. Somebody's provoked you. Somebody's provoked me. You've seen me get angry. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> now, <clears throat> what are you going to do about it? Well, the most direct approach, which can happen now, is to recognize the one that is, is angry. And who is speaking through that one? Is it Bill at 15 years old? You know, at those core moments, you know, at those core years when you experience those dramatic losses. Um, is it your sister? <laughs> is it your mother? Your father? <laughs> like Osho said? <laughs> and one can easily discover this if one just... One can be angry and notice that one is angry. And watch the anger. Witness it. And then see what happens. It's going to start to lose its energy and power. Um, well, I guess it's like a, a combination of everyone that you mentioned. So I guess it's kind of like a Molotov cocktail um, brewing lit on fire and thrown through the shop window, you know. Um, because I sense that that's really the core issue with you when it comes to um, breaking through. Okay? But what we don't realize is that those are enormous opportunities because it's breaking you open, it's not closing you up. Okay? Okay. So, the conditioning is, the conditioning says, don't be, or, or makes you feel guilty. Okay? And that is the pattern of, of in the history of the past. And it's also the collective history. Um, unconscious guilt, you know, in order to serve power and all of the rest of the nonsense um, that creates suffering. So, the first thing to see, not to know, <laughs> but to see, is that we're all afflicted. <laughs> You know, that we've all been afflicted by this, by this conditioning. So that takes the personal out. Okay. So, once you see that, it's not hard to recognize how we're just passing it around. So, first we see that. Doesn't mean we're not going to get angry anymore. Okay. Uh huh. 
so a sort of vigilance, a persistence is required in staying. So, what is it that we're seeing? We're seeing a manifestation of a reaction called anger, uh, called resentment, called guilt, shame, pride, and then we know the source of it, abandonment, rejection, um, all of that, um, which gives rise to that, you know, which gives rise to the anger. Of course, we, we don't realize that it's coming from all of this conditioning because it's so thick. So therefore we become uncomfortable and sad and angry with ourselves for being that way. Once again, because we're attaching that to ourself, like, it, like that's me. So instead of saying, I'm angry, or, or instead of um, having to surrender, um, the one that's angry to, to the foot of peace, to the feet of peace and well-being, um, the manifestation only. For example, what is looking at anger? We're, we're just going to say anger. What is happening? Which are manifestations of all of the core stories. Just a little review. Um, so that all of that understanding is there. Um, so now I'm seeing not that I'm angry, I'm just seeing anger. It doesn't belong to me, even though it's manifesting through this form and creating all this tension. Okay. okay. So now, now it does not belong to me. Okay. So, it, and so therefore I, I am that can go now. So is this just making sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, and then gradually, um, with a sort of vigilance, I don't want to say practice because now you have to do something. <laughs> and um, that's going to drive the mind nuts too. It's going to drive one nuts too. Oh, it came again. And, oh, la, 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 la. Like that. Because of the person there that has to do something about it. So forget all that. Okay, so we see it for what it is. It's the condition past. Belonging to the collective conscious. So now, um, there's no one to surrender. Okay. There's just a pure seeing of a function that is manifested in the consciousness as a result of our propensity to go with the image that we have about ourselves. Okay. Okay. So what needs to be surrendered the most is just the image that we have about ourselves, which is a collection of ideas. Thoughts and ideas that are saturated with all of this 
um, harmful conditioning. Okay. Okay. That all makes sense. <laughs> um, and if we stay quiet, if we stay quiet, um, within, anything can happen from without. You know, anything can manifest outwardly. And it's not going to survive for very long because there's nothing to work with. <laughs> so it's kind of like Muji's bring up the being is burping up um, all of the the residual. <laughs> I'll explain why I'm you know angry only for ten seconds after I get outdoor. Yes. So so once again, I'm angry no longer really applies. Anger is manifesting in the consciousness. Okay? And once again, what is seeing? Is what? what is seeing? Um, is it a, is it, if it's a person with a personality that's taking everything personally, that's then conditioning, it's looking out. Um, as awareness, there's only seeing. There's no one to see. Okay? And, and to know the truth of who you are, you have to be the truth of who you are. To be the truth of who you are, you have to see the truth of who you are. To see the truth of who you are, now surrender everything you know. Okay. Very good. Well, we've only got a little over two minutes here left, so um, I would like to, first of all, thank Ujinanda for joining me um, this evening. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in and, and listening um, to this sudden live broadcast. Um, I know we had said that, or I had said that there were going to be certain times and certain days, but um, all of that has changed, obviously. It, um, right now, it's, it's a life without a plan, um, <laughs> especially for broadcasting. Um, but I'm running out of time here, so I'd like to... Uh, any last words from Richard here? Oh, got a minute left. Yes. Minute yes, yes. My recommendation is the same as all the rest. Let life happen it's happening anyway stay as the witness which is awareness itself that is all very good thank you once again for thank being you. here with me thank you and thank you all for listening namaste and uh, we will be with you soon have a good night everybody good night now <laughs>